All right, in this uh, video, we've got a couple lines here that is, are described by parametric equations. So line 1, x equals 1 plus t, y is 3 minus 2t, z equals 1 minus t. Our second line can be described by x equals negative 1 minus s, y equals negative 3 plus 2s, and z equals negative 1 plus s. We want to know, do these lines coincide, uh, so they're the exact same line? Are they parallel, are they skew, or do they intersect at one point? Well, all right, so what I'm going to think about is the direction vectors for each vector. So for line one, the direction vector, basically what we do is we take the coefficients on the t's. So we've got one plus t, the coefficient on the t is a positive one. Uh, we look at three minus two t for the y component. Well, the coefficient on the t is negative two. And then for z, uh, the coefficient is a negative 1. For our second line, we'll do the same thing. Now we'll look at the coefficients on uh, s. So we have negative 1, uh, we have positive 2, and then we have positive 1. So notice uh, these are actually multiples of each other. If we take uh, you know, line 1 and we multiply it by negative 1, Notice if we multiply that by negative 1, we'll get negative 1, positive 2, and um, positive 1. But that's the direction vector uh, of the second line. So since 1 is a multiple of the other, okay, we can just multiply by some number to get the other one. That tells us that the lines are either parallel or they coincide. Okay, so now we've got it narrowed down to these. If they coincide, so now I'm going to determine if they coincide or not. If they coincide, we can create a little system of equations that we'll have to solve. Okay, so if they coincide, there's going to be uh, some numbers uh, s and t that satisfy. Well, if they intersect um, at a point, Okay, so again, we're going to determine if they intersect at a point. If they intersect at a point, since they're parallel, then they would have to coincide. Okay, so that's what we're trying to determine. Is there some point of intersection? So if there is some point of intersection, the x-coordinates would have to be equal. So that means uh, there would have to be some value for s and t, so that 1 plus t equals negative 1 minus s. Likewise, the y-coordinates would have to be equal. So 3 minus 2t would have to equal negative 3 plus 2s. And then there would have to be some uh, value so that the z-coordinates are equal. So we'll set the parametric equations there equal. Okay, so now we have a little system of equations, and we're just trying to determine if there's a solution or not. Okay, so I'm going to play with the kind of first two equations here for a moment. So we have 1 plus t equals negative 1 minus s. I don't know, I'm going to solve, I guess, I'm going to solve this for t. So we can solve for t by subtracting 1. That'll give us negative 2 minus s. And now I'm going to take that and I'm going to plug that into my second equation. Okay, so we have 3 minus 2 times t. So 3 minus 2t. But uh, t again is negative 2 minus s. We're going to set that equal to negative 3 plus 2s. All right, so we'll get 3. It looks like we'll get negative 2, and negative 2 will be positive 4. Negative 2 and negative s will be positive 2 times s. Um, we've got negative 3 plus 2s on the right side. Um, I think you can see here pretty quickly, though, there's not going to be a solution to this because uh, we get 3 plus 4. We've got 7 plus 2s equals negative 3 plus 2s. Um, well, if we... Uh, subtract 2s from both sides, we'll just be left with 7 equals negative 3. And what that simply tells me is that there's no solution. Okay, so there's no value of s and t that's going to satisfy these two equations. Um, so that simply tells me that there's no point of intersection. And since there's no point of intersection, since there's no point of intersection, that tells me that the lines must be parallel. 